Hi everyone, it's viewer question time and today it's from A. A has said, I sifted through all your videos but I didn't find any that could address the topic. Can we ever overdo self-love? Or maybe I'm wording it wrong. If you're trying to manifest a relationship with your specific person or ex and they say things like, you're too good for me, I won't be able to take care of you, I cannot ruin your life because you deserve better or I don't deserve you, what are we projecting wrong? Well, good question. If you are getting someone saying those kind of things, there has to be within you I'm not deserving, I'm not worthy, I can't attract my person, I'm not wanted, I'm not chosen, I'm not the one they want, what's wrong with me, why am I not good enough or why am I too good according to them. You see when we have someone giving us reasons why they don't want to be with us, we're still in a state of there's something, must be something wrong with us or there must be something not quite right with us that the person doesn't want to be with us, okay? So you've also said, he also says that our financial backgrounds are different and he is not financially secure as me, so he won't be able to keep me happy, okay? So the other person feeling I'm not good enough or I'm not financially stable enough or I'm not, but remember they are you pushed out. So are you holding any beliefs about them not being financially good enough or that they can't meet your expectations or that you might believe this can't work out with us? because I am above them or more advanced than them in certain areas. Do you have those kinds of thoughts? No, you can't project too much of I am first best or I am wealthy or I am loved or I am wanted. No. What belief can be flipped over to project that they do deserve us? Well, you're not projecting that they do deserve you. You're projecting that you are loved and lovable and wanted just how you are. Remember, you're not changing them. They are your projection. You've always got to change you. You've got to change your foundation, what you are doing, you see. I wouldn't go about it. You've said here too that they are financially sound enough, what belief can be flipped over to project that they do deserve us, that they are financially sound enough, or shall I use the power of influence? Can that be used in this case? Well, I wouldn't go for the power of influence. I would try changing me. What am I projecting about them that this is in front of me? Remember, when anything is in front of you out there, ask yourself the question, what am I thinking, feeling and believing about them that this is here? What am I thinking, feeling and believing about me that this is here? Yes, you can do the power of influence and imagine them saying things to you that you would prefer to say, but you still have to lay the good foundation about you. You've still got to work on you, you, you. Okay, remember it's the hologram. They're the hologram, the photocopy, the magnet. They're your magnet. They're either repelled by you or they're attracted by you through what you are doing, okay? So, A, I hope that does help. You can also use the whole Ho'oponopono prayer to dissolve the part of you that created this. I'm actually going to be uploading to the new meditation channel a Ho'oponopono meditation and Rayu, the viewer, is doing some music to go with it so that you can use. I will put the link to the meditation, guided meditation channel with music down below for those of you that want to use that Ho'oponopono meditation. It will be uploaded within the next couple of days. Um, Rayu is actually working on it right at, as we speak at the moment. So, Yes, it is about looking also at the contents of our consciousness and also, again, I know I've mentioned it this week, it seems to be coming up, 
that YouTube from Neville about mental diets and the YouTube from Neville about rearranging the mind, okay? So I will post those links down below again for those of you that have missed a few YouTubes. Have a look at those. And yes, we can change what we are getting, but again, we have to work out what it is about us that we are doing so that we can make those changes to then photocopy something new, okay? So a wonderful question, lots of love, and I will see all of you very, very soon.